All right, all right. What's going on, everybody? DB4 here, and welcome back to the channel. And if you are one of our subscribers, salute to you. You are the GOAT. And if this is your first time here, welcome to my gaming channel where we play RPG games, strategy games, and all of the hybrids and sub genres in between. If you find this content fun, educational, or entertaining, hey, consider subscribing. We release content on a regular. And as always, if you're interested in playing this game, we got some information below. Now with that being said, I appreciate you all for being here with us today. Now let's get down to some gameplay. All right, we are back, we are back, we are here. With yet another glorious episode. Oh man, it feels back. It feels good to be back in the old kingdom. Man, if you were here for the last episode, we got some progress done. We got a lot of progress done. If we check our stats, we almost got mining up to level 40. Now, mining is taking longer than I actually thought it would because, believe it or not, we're still struggling with a lot of the stone in the tier we're at now with these type of tools. So I'm thinking we're going to upgrade our tools to speed up the mining process a bit. Now, the way we're going to upgrade our tools is by getting a lot of these other skills up to level 50 by skills i mean leather working we're going to do some leather working to order to make some stuff to take over we're going to do leather work and make some leather items with tanning we're going to do some tanning i, I apologize we're going to do tanning to do some leather working we're going to do leather work into 50 and get that up and then we're going to go sell some stuff to do some trading to get that up to 50 because i think if we increase our trading it will allow us to buy better ores and things like that and we can probably craft the next tier of tools now if we check the tools over here oh we got to go to the blacksmith table so if we check the tools we can actually see that our next tier of tools is mithril now we can't mine mithril yet we can but it'll be tough to do and we can't really survive that long inside the the biome it's in so we can actually purchase this stuff i want to try to get enough mithril bars to purchase from the shopkeepers the shopkeepers will actually level up the inventory with your your trading level so what we're going to do we're going to go get a bunch of craft a bunch of leather goods a bunch of cloth goods and take it over and sell it and as you can see we're kind of low on funds so we got a, about one goal so we kind of need to do that anyway to make sure we don't run out of gold so that being said let's get right into it and on the last episode we actually made a lot of progression with the amount of ores we were able to collect if i check our little ore barrel over here as you can see we got hundreds and hundreds of iron ore even a bunch of silver ore that's going to come in handy we got copper and tin all over the place we're going to smelt this stuff up as well to get those professions going but i'm more interested in leather working and tanning so first things first let's go right over to the tanning station and start tanning some stuff up well actually before we do anything let's pop a crafting potion Lesser mining, lesser willpower, um, lesser mana. We don't, we actually don't need any of those right now. We need some crafting potions. Let's, can we stack these? Yeah, thank you. We need crafting potions. Let's head over to our alchemy situation here. Do we, ha we gotta have crafting. Wood cutting, lesser crafting. I'll pop that now. All right, now let's get this stuff going. I wanted to do this stuff off camera but i said you know you know what it's, it's been a while since we did a lot of this stuff anyway so let's just do it on cam we're going to start with the hard for the hard hide we can actually craft some of that now so let's max out on the hard hide with the yeah we're going to do 13 we get 13 pieces with the pig hide we were able to collect that's pretty good that should get tanning up a bunch probably going to get tanning up to 60 low key with the amount of hard hide we're going to be able to create and we creating a ton of rotten stuff the amount of rotten fur we're about to do it's interesting i think i'm gonna do a few hundred pieces of rotten stuff make some gear we want to take that over and sell everything we want to hit up all of our npcs on all of our maps to make sure we get all that stuff done that should be good all right we're going to get the 57 with this well we should definitely get the 60 we're going to end up having our refining skills up to 60 before anything goes that makes sense because in order to even get the stuff to craft we got to do a lot of refining undead sheep pelts yep craft all now we're gonna do all of the rotten skin stuff we got available we should have uh, i was about to say when it comes to rats we should have a ton a 
Let's do the undead rabbits first. The rats is gonna take forever. It's like doing wild pelts. I think we've been buying. Yeah, we've been buying. Look how many sheep pelts we got. Man, the wild pelts is unlimited. But let's do the rotten skin. Uh, all of them. We run into a lot of rats in the mines anyway, so we might as well craft all of the rotten skin stuff we can possibly craft. And then we'll get right into crafting some good rotten skin gear. We're never going to use the rotten skin gear. But we're probably going to save a set and then sell every single other set. I want to sell stuff to get like at least, I don't know, 20 gold out the, out the situation. Get 20 gold and spend all of it on these guys inventory about once or twice and see if that'll help us level up trading to like past 45 and if i could get trading to 50 that might guarantee the ores we're looking for so that's why i want to make sure we have tons of items tons of items and you know i might as well get tanning up while we're at it tanning will be our first well another weaving was our first level 60 skill i think no farming cracked level 60 first then it was weaving last episode and now we're going into tanning now so we are basically farmers, tanners, and weavers. We make items. Tailoring is our... We, we're pretty good on tailoring, too. We got to get mining up, man. But mining is tough when you in the mines fighting all day. And going left to right, it's more efficient to mine left to right, east to west. And trying to mine east to west, with the since you have to dig through a minimum of three blocks, makes it a little more time consuming to do efficient mining unless you have the proper tool with a proper tool it could, it'll be the time will go by way quicker because even with this tool we're using now the amount of stuff i'm able to mine is way more than it was last time we was out there let's just do the boar pelts for now it seems like the boar pelts are taking me longer to craft um, we're getting three per so that's probably why so after we do these ball pelts, then we'll go right over and shift over our attention to the leather working table. I want to just have enough pelts so I don't have to come back and craft them. So if I have enough pelts, we can just go straight and get leather working or leather working all the way up to 50. Blacksmithing too. We can actually get blacksmithing up to 52 right now and sell some tools while we at it. Cooking is up there, alchemy. Yeah, we might as well do blacksmithing in with some aiming together. Leather working. The leather working have you, you leave there with bags and stuff like that. So maybe we'll we'll keep some some bag. I'm surprised that the leather bags and the cloth bags hold the same amount. I figured they would make well eventually start making them stand out a little bit more because I think it's just a, at this point. It's just flavor when it when it determine which bag you're gonna carry. Like this tier, what I'm up to cotton bags or the hard skin bag or the rotten skin bag. I think this is the same tier, pretty much. So I wish they would have made it so like, all right, leather bags are you can carry a bit more than cotton bags. But I, I'll go with the flavor. With it all just being flavor, I don't have a problem with that. All right, we're good. We're good. I think that's enough pelts on us for now. Now let's actually should we smelt? Yeah, we should probably smelt. Oh man, I want mithril so bad. Iron and coal for steel. Make uh 38 steel. That's not a lot. Oh, cause we don't have a lot of iron. Oh, I'm like, what's going on? Why don't we have iron? Um, oh, duh, we didn't make any. Let's 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 do a hundred iron pieces real quick. Just because I know we have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of it. I do want to make some steel. Smelting is going to probably get up to 53. We'll see after this one. Probably 54, actually. 55 won't be bad. Herbalism. Um, Herbalism. That's... What is herbalism? Am I... I know it's not alchemy. Oh, well, let's see. Let's see. Herbalism. Oh, gathering herbs. Duh. We did do a... Before we turned on the camera, we did do some wood cutting. And we did... I mean, we did do herbalism off camera. We went and collected some herbs from the farm. 
We didn't manage to do any wood cutting though, so we're gonna have to do that. I wanted to save the wood cutting for off camera, but I, I, it's hard to find the time to get to everything off camera, especially during this holiday season. I was fairly busy with things throughout the season and Thanksgiving and things like that, so it was hard for me to sit down and, and allocate time for recording. But now that we did, let's, let's craft a bunch of steel. Get some steel weapons to sell. Now that the holiday season is about to, well, it's not over. It's just actually just getting started. We're probably going to be able to do a lot more stuff off camera and in our off time. But I'm actually been testing out a lot of new games for the new year. You know what I mean? I want to come into the new year with a lot of content for the, the channel. I have tons of things planned, a lot of things planned out. I want to execute on all of this stuff. So I'm definitely trying to make even more time to play to test games out play games see how much i actually like them and also get some off camera grinding done that's the thing i like i also li i like that a lot about crafting games and sandbox games like the amount of stuff they allow you to do and decisions you're allowed to make and also the grind i actually like the grind but i also it's very aware that it's time consuming even though i like it is i doesn't i don't always have the time to do it so these type of games like this, Grounded, and a few other games I love playing, like I'm a huge fan of Minecraft, like that's one of my all time favorite games and it's also a game I play a lot with my kids, like my kids are completely sold on the whole Minecraft thing so we play a lot of Minecraft co-op together and I got a 9 year old and a 16 year old so that makes a lot of sense. It's dope that a game like Minecraft can appeal to somebody my age, a 16 year old kid, my, my, my first son and my second son uh somebody that's nine years old now so it's like minecraft is the ultimate game and it just keeps on evolving when you start getting into modding and shit like that it's amazing but those games are super super duper grindy you can spend hours making minimal progression in a game like that all right let's get to leather working so the off camera grinding or the grinding in between doing the action is severe in those type of games but i just love it i can't get enough of it so it's just it takes me about two three hours to set up for a big project like this or to take about five six hours off camera grind setup just to get something like this done and then it'll take about two hours to do live on stream or something like that so that's a lot of time just to build one structure you know what i mean even though i love it it's like man you still have to consider there's so many other things i'm trying to get done all right let's let's do the show take that off and let's start crafting a shit ton of oh we're still using wool and stuff huh hold on wait 20 rotten skin 30 um compared to my stuff what is this what is this doing i think this bag does 30 if i'm not mistaken all right well first off first off before we start crafting anything let's put this stuff away all right now we can start properly crafting let's go with what's going to make the most m money well actually i want to value 20 you probably want to go with efficiency over cash because the more pieces we can craft the more money we're going to make anyway so let's see three rope three woolen rope and 12 rotten skin leather this is four rope and 16 rotten skin leather this is eight rotten skin and two rope see now this is eight rotten skin and two rope eight rotten skin two rope basically this stuff is the is what's worth the most this one right here it's eight rotten skin two rope but it's still 20 value 22 value and this is 27 for almost double the resources we only getting seven extra silver so it's not worth it i'm, I'm gonna just craft it all just to show how much everything is worth but after that we're going to only craft up a shit ton of hats uh, and rotten skin shoulder pads. So we'll be able to see how much each individual piece is worth when we get to a, a NPC. And actually, I'm going to do these hard hide boots and stuff too. We got the cotton rope for now. Oh, hold on. Bags. How much bags... Uh, Oh, bags don't have a lot of value. And they use a lot of resources. Uh, 
Hard hide hat. Hard hide shoulder pads. This XP bonus that we're getting is going to be amazing. Let's do some... Do we got to spin up rope? We don't have any cotton rope, do we? We ran out of cotton rope. I think we got to spin up some cotton rope. Yeah, let's spin up uh, 20 pieces. We got to be sparing with our cotton right now. We got four minutes left on that crafting potion. We're going to have to pop another one. Are we hungry? Oh, well fed. I'm about to say, how the hell? Back. We got the rope. There we go. 50. We ran out of hard hide. Just a tab. Alright. Uh, we don't got the that. Let's do some shoulder pads. How many can we make? 12 shoulder pads. Why? Is that because of rope? I, I know it's not because of our rotten skin. It can't be because of the rotten skin. Maybe we don't have enough woolen rope. We'll craft a bunch more wool rope. We didn't spin up enough wool, probably. But I'm going with shoulder pads because they're the most efficient. We just dis discussed that, and you get the most value. So we'll see if they this this price stays. Because sometimes this price will change when you actually get to the vendor. It's like, you lied, man. My crafting bench told me it's one price, and now you want to sell it for something else. All right, I think, do we need, we don't have no more rope, do we? Wool rope, no, we gotta spin up some wool. All right, woolen rope, woolen rope, woolen rope. Oh, shite, we got tons of wool. We've been killing sheep left and right. Give me 200 pieces of rope, please. Look, that's not even gonna give us a level. 200 pieces of rope doesn't even give us one level. Man, that's insane. We're that good at spinning a wicker wheel we don't even get better at it by making 200 pieces I know our speed is increasing we make one in like 0.27 seconds it seems slower than that a fraction of a second I feel like as time goes on as technology and stuff advances we are capable of comprehending time moving this fast like like milliseconds fractions of a second i start to see those calculations being used a lot more in real time you know what i'm saying like a lot a lot of stuff is usually explained in minutes seconds hours days months I see a lot more things happening in a fraction of a second and people taking notice of things that happen in a fraction second of a millisecond or even understanding the concept of something moving that fast. If you get the gist of my rant here, it feels like the human brain, the more we use technology and the more society, the pace of society picks up, we can actually comprehend things moving that fast because as fast as that bar was moving, it seemed like it was moving in slow motion to me once it got toward the last couple of ticks it was doing. I'm like, man, I know this is moving at a fraction of a second, but this bar seems like it's taking forever to fill up. I need to upgrade my level. That's how I was actually legitimately just, fit, just now feeling. So it's like, hmm, it's kind of weird. And, and if you into sports, you would know that a lot of sports players go through the same thing it's like when they first start playing a sport it seems like everything is moving at like the speed of light like everything seems super fast like a blur but the better you get at that sport and the more you play that sport you start to the stuff starts slowing down to where not only can you see everything happening at that super fast speed but you can also react to it instinctively and like on purpose you know what i mean so it's like we do get way more advanced as time goes on and looking at that little fraction of a second second speed tick there i was just thinking like man why does this seem like it's going slow and i know it's taking 0.27 seconds to get to where i needed to get to okay let's stack this we need to go make some tools now man we ran out of oh man i feel like we don't have enough leather we got leather working up to 50, though. Maybe we'll make some wild pelt jackets. Yeah, 
Okay, yeah, I guess. We can make a, can make a fucking a shit ton of these. Let's make 20 of them. 20 wild pelt jackets. Oh shit, that takes five seconds. No, cancel. No, no, don't, no, hell no. We need a crafting potion. I just talked about living in a millisecond. There's no way I'm gonna sit there and watch five seconds go by. That seemed like an eternity. Nah, I'm bugging. Like, I'm just joking, but that's how I feel sometimes. Like, no, all, all jokes aside, sometimes, like, shit moves at so fast nowadays. It's like, wait, did I just see all, did I just see all of that? I definitely caught all of that. Why? Uh, I just made a tin pickaxe for nothing. Oh, that gets sold too. Where were we? Where were we? Um, I was trying to craft. Oh, pelts. Yeah, pelts. Pelt things. All right. Now, twenty of these is how much time? Oh, that's better. Two point nine seven seconds. Oh, that's way better. Oh man, that's way better. Look, I don't have two seconds to spare. What do you mean? Like, I'm joking, but that's how it feels society is. People Back in the days, things used to move, not like, like slow, but it just felt like pe you, you were able to live in a moment longer. Like, you could savor things. Like, things mattered. Like, a TV show, you would think about a good TV show you saw for weeks and for months. And, like, now it's like, oh, I just saw some, like, the best thing I've ever seen in my life. I just saw it. And guess what? Within two to three hours, you find out that it's something just like it, probably better. The way the algorithms work. Like, let's say I see a great YouTube video. Oh, my God, I love this video. It's so creative, so thoughtful, so, so dope. One of the best videos I ever saw. Within a couple of minutes, YouTube is re requesting something just like it or even better. So, it's like, it's, it's hard to savor things. And it's hard to really live in a moment nowadays how things move so fucking fast, man. It's like, damn. And the fact that we can comprehend this stuff, and our kids are even better at comprehending the speed of things than we are, believe it or not. It's like, I wonder where we're going to be in the future. It's like nobody wants to wait for anything to get done. If you try to sit somebody down um, in the modern time and say, hey, you're going to have to wait, you know, X, Y, Z time for this to get done, but it's worth the wait. They don't want to hear that. Nobody wants to hear the... The, the, the saying, it's worth the wait. But, like, I'm old school. I enjoy the wait. I enjoy taking things, taking my time. Man, 15 for these? We don't get a lot for this stuff. I feel like I'm wasting my sticks, low-key. Like, I can hold you. Let me see something. We need to get blacksmithing up right here. We damn sure do. So, we're gonna make more sticks. We should have a ton of sticks over here somewhere, right? Got some here, but where's the rest of our sticks? Something ain't right. Oh, we really don't got sticks like that. All right, well, let's go make some. You know what? I'm definitely about to make a few hundred sticks. I'm tired of this shit. I'm tired of this shit. Now look, that was literally a millisecond. You're trying to tell me you couldn't see all of them bars going by and comprehend each one? I did. So a hundred bars went by in one second, damn near, and I saw every single one of them. In slow motion, too. All right, where are we at now? We were, we, were, we were making things. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My mind got stuck in the matrix. I was still watching bars go by. No. All right, let's go. Craft all. Shit. Damn it. Blacksmith, it ain't going nowhere. It's not budging. Iron shovel, maybe? You gotta do more. We need more iron. That's just what it is. We we turned all of our iron into steel. That's the dumb shit we did, actually. No, no, wait. Yes, we we don't have a lot of iron. Uh, we.
we need to make a hundred iron. We gotta smelt up a hundred iron. All right, let's do it. A half a second. I feel like I can say 13 words before I get a bar out. I'm not gonna attempt it. It's like, I don't know. It might explode the computer. I'm not sure my computer can compute that fast. I want my computer to stay putin. All right, what are we at? What are we at? Oh, man, we've been doing crafting for a minute, but don't worry. It's going to be worth it when we get 50 gold. Nah, I doubt it. We don't got shit. 100 gold, I'll be happy. I'll be 10 gold, I'll be happy. 50. Oof. Man, we're going to spend it as soon as we get it, too. It's like, okay, yeah, we're getting 50 gold, but guess what? I'm spending all the gold. Wait, hold up. Wait, no. That can't be right, right? That can't be right. Wait. Wait. M Silver is stronger than Mithril? That can't be right. Hell no. Tool damage 15. Let's see. Tool damage. No, no. We need to. Tool damage 15. Two damage 25. Two damage 30. Two damage 40. Yes, talk nice. Oh, I was about to say, yeah, there's no silver tool set. All right, cool. That makes perfect sense. That makes perfect sense. So, of course, I have to go to Mithra. I have to get the Mithra. See, I knew I wasn't bugging. I was like, what the, what the fuck you need? Silver what? Nah, okay. Is this silver gear? No, it's not. What is silver used for? I don't know, but I'm about to smelt it up. It's definitely not used for what we think it's used for, but that's pretty pretty dope, actually. Wait. Wait. Oh, silver's all the way down there. Ooh, it's a two for one? That is nasty work. Well, it'll get us, it'll probably get us to 60. All right, let's do some more iron bars. 60 worth. Yeah, finally level 60 smelted, baby. Let's go. Now, all we got to do is milling. Oh, we could get milling up to 60 by just making bone mill. Yeah. We don't got to worry about that right now. But that's all of our processing skills. I call it refining, but it's really the same thing. Up to 50. You know what? We should have everything. White dye beating. Oh, we don't got cherries. We can make carrots and yellow dye for days, though. Let's see. Let's see how much experience 20 of these will get us. I just want to... Oh, that's a lot of experience for 20 pieces of yellow dye. I don't need the yellow dye, but I wanted to see how much it'll give us. But let's check this stuff out. This is the shit we need to be making money off of. Corn flour so we can cook with it. This is the stuff I'm interested in milling. Why did weaving go up? I, th I could have sworn I saw weaving jump. I don't think it should have been going up. We got a cornfield, so this is cool. This will get us, we'll definitely get to 60 making wheat flour, corn flour, and salt and shit. We can't do all. Don't you dare do all. 30? Oh, 30 is a lot, huh? Let's do 50 then. Uh, how much How much is 50 going to get us? Is that not, it's not going to give us four levels, but hey, shit, the way it's jumping. We got wheat fields for days now. We definitely getting milling up. If you haven't realized, this is definitely going to be like a serious crafting episode. Just to make sure we can get our mining goals complete in the next episode. See, the thing is, even if, if I get the better tools, I can actually go to that new area and be effective when it comes to mining. So, I'm interested in that. Let's do 100 pieces of wheat flour. 100 pieces of wheat flour. Get what we're looking for. We're not going to let the whole 100 tick. I just want to see if 100 is enough to even get it going. 
because I think we're gonna make the rest in bone meal and salt for cooking purposes. We don't even have our salt over here. Where is our salt? How much salt do we have? Oh, we can't check yet. All right, 50 gets us. Yeah, it's not gonna get us there. We could do it. If we do all the wheat, that'll get us to where we need to be. But I don't know if I want to do all the wheat into wheat flour just yet. Or that's going to be... We might need the wheat for something else. That's why I want to save some of it. Well, we're under 100 now. Might as well save. Keep going and go to bone meal. Alright, we need a bunch of bone meal. Oh, it takes 10 bone meal though. And 100 doesn't do anything. Yeah. All the salt. We don't need this much salt, and it's not even gonna give us much shit. But I do want a decent amount of it. For cooking purposes. I'll let it tick off some. And we'll go back to wheat flour. And if we do all, oh, that might give us it, right? Screw it. We gotta we gotta do some harvesting anyway. We'll we'll get the cooking. We need to get cooking up to 60 eventually to get some better food. So it's not gonna go in vain. Oh, we don't have enough to get up there anyway. Okay, cool. Whatever. Alright, 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 alright. You fooled us. You fooled us. Back to... What was it? Blacksmithing, right? Mm. Man, these aren't worth anything. The shovel was the cheapest, but... Let's go to some of this other stuff. If we can get 10 for the bronze. Alright, bronze shovel it is. A hundred bronze shovels, G. I don't even think we can carry that many low key. Yeah, we might not be able to carry that many, B. They're not gonna let us do it if we can't carry it, I don't think. Oh, we out of sticks? You can't be. Oh, man. We trying to fill up all of. Oh, no, no, no. You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? We need more space for other stuff. All right, wait, 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 wait. There's also something else we gotta, we gotta buy. I mean, sell we gotta sell all this loot so let's let's grab this loot and take all yes we don't we want to sell all of that stuff so let's head out now let's head out we good we good we good let's head back to the original spot and go on a shopping spree real quick we gonna mess with the miners first and foremost we want to level up them I'm not gonna buy from every you know what I think I should buy from everybody but let's sell let's let's sell off all of this stuff first um all right yeah let's do this first thing he's all right he's giving up 11 for those twelve for those 13 for those so it's like seven cents off. What about the tunic? 18. Yeah, it was 27. He'd be 18, actually. Yeah, it's about. It's a little different, but not too much. Alright, let's sell this shit. I hope you bought your wallet, my dude. Oh, they didn't reset their inventories yet. I want to see if trading is going to go up, too. Okay, my man bought some shit. Alright. 
There you go, my man. How much the more dough you got? I wonder if once we fill up his inventory, is can we not sell him shit no more? I think that's how it works. Like once we give him, once his inventory is full, I don't think he can buy shit no more. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, we're gonna leave this dude alone. I don't think he could buy shit no more. I'm gonna trade with you. You can take all this other stuff. Yeah, we got the 10 gold we was hoping for. And we have 45 trading so far. About a level. These dudes can purchase not even a full inventory worth of stuff, low key. The cheaper your stuff, the less inventory they can actually. Yeah, I see. All right, it's a little balance. I thought this might be OP, but if you can't just make a bunch of cheap shit and sell it to them and they have infinite in inventory slots, it's better to make more expensive stuff because, you know, the amount of inventory they can actually accept from you is a thing. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is that a, is that a lie? Did I just make up some shit? Wait, does this just keep scrolling down? Let's 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 test this theory. There's there's only three st slots there. Let's try to sell him a bunch of shitty uh bronze stuff. Let's see. Oh, it just keeps getting bigger. Oh, okay. Oh, discount everything I just said. We can sell them as much shit as they just gonna take. That's fine. That's fine. That's totally fine with me. Totally fine. I don't mind. We won't be selling them stacks of anything else. Maybe some food. Yeah, maybe we can start selling food and shit, too. Yeah, some fried chicken. They like fried chicken, right? They gotta like fried chicken. Who doesn't like fried chicken? All right, all right, all right. 20. All right, now, see. Let's see how much purchasing stuff gets us. They don't have anything to trade. Oh, okay. I'm gonna buy all of your useless shit that I didn't buy last time. That gives us some, but ugh, that's nasty. Shit. Uh. Whoa, whoa. Shit. Uh, we gotta wait to tomorrow maybe to trade with these dudes. Let's try to sleep through the day and see if they their inventory resets. We did get 20 gold out of them. Sleep for 12 hours. That should be like half of a day at least. So that should help us. Let's see. Where's your inventory at now, buddy? Oh, yes. They got a full reset. All right. Let's see. How much trade experience we get from buying everything this guy has. The reason why I'm buying everything because we're going to cook. We're going to use the rest of these ingredients for cooking and getting our cooking up too. So This guy, is a, the hunter's a good guy because you can take everything he's selling and make tons and tons of stuff. Cooking, smell, I mean, you can use different crafting stations for this guy. He got bones for milling. He got hide for leather work. He got wool for spinning stuff. He got food for cooking. All of those things. So he, he you, you get a lot of good experience if you buy that stuff from him. But you know, the most important items we need is going to be this stuff. Mithru! Mithru! Oh man, my bad. I apologize if I just fucked up your ears. But yo, 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 yo. Mithru. Mithru, let's go. That's exactly what we wanted. Holy shit. <laughs> Yo, my bad, man. My bad, man. I didn't mean to scream like that, but man, Mithru. Yes, 20 pieces. Give me all these stuffs. Yo, Mithru's kind of expensive. Hold up, hold up, hold up. We can't be balling. We, we sitting here... We balling, trying to purchase everything. We only want your mithril, sir. Yes, mithril's a fucking buck for mithril. A 
buck. Oh, oak acorns. Yes, don't mind. Oh, that means everybody got legit shit now. Holy shit, hell yeah. Um, what do you got, sir? Do you got minute? Oh yeah, feral shit. Oh no, we want this stuff. This stuff is hard to come by. Um, pig hide. Don't mind if I do. We taking the pig snouts and the wog pelts. Yes, that's hard shit. When I say hard shit, I mean that's the stuff. You know what? We actually need to rebuy a lot of this stuff. We we used a lot of this shit. We just gonna prioritize the miners now. See, now I want to go out and just find like ten miners. Got one guy down in the mines. All right. Uh, it was only one dude in here, right? Or did we send somebody down? Down. Did we? I don't think we did. Yo, look what we did to this place. We we. This is down. This. You see what I was able to do here? How I was literally able to make an entire. Look at this. We did. We were able to do this in no time at all because we had a, a highly advanced pickaxe to get this done. So it was nothing to just go straight. I don't have to go up, down. I could just go straight and take everything I see on screen that's above me because it's easy to just jump up and get to it. So let's map up and go to our actual mine and just do some more trading. We're going to be able to get our mithril things. That's amazing. We we definitely were supposed to set up. What's the name here? Oh, he's here. Is there any miners here? There should be miners here. We, we put hunters here? Hunters are cool. Hunters are cool. We just showed y'all the good shit they can have. Is there anybody here? Okay. We didn't. All right, whatever. Let's go back to the base and we'll start cooking up this mithril shit. And we'll get our mithril set. Finally. Man, I didn't even expect to be able to get mithril. I thought it was going to be 50. I ain't going to hold you. I didn't expect mithril this time, this early. I was like, you're going to probably have to get to um, trading up to 50. Because somebody, salute to the person that left that comment, too. I wouldn't even thought of that. The person that left that comment, he was like, yo, you do know you can get mithril by just buying it. And I was like, holy shit, you're right. And by God, was he ever right. We bought all the fucking mithril possible. Now we get about 20-something pieces of mithril bars. Hold on. Don't tell me we need mithril for cobalt or something. I don't care. We could just buy it again. We're going to spend... Get 20 gold, buy 20 stacks of mithril. We're doing this without the crafting potion or nothing. Make a full mithril set. Then we're going to be on to cobalt. they probably going to start selling cobalt when I get to train in 50. If I get to trade a 50. they probably going to start selling cobalt. I don't even got to go to the next layer to get it. All right, let's craft up stuff. We got to be real specific about this. I don't want to just craft everything. Let's see. Starting with the pickaxe. Oh, shit. We don't have sticks. Holy shit. No, no. All right. Sticks, 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 sticks. Right, we get three sticks per birch plank. I think I think it's finally time to make a shit ton of birch planks. Yeah. We got about yeah, it's about time to make a shit ton of these. Fraction of a second shit. Now let's turn all of that into sticks. Birch sticks. 300 birch sticks. Thank you. It's not enough, but it is gonna be it's not enough for me to do another session, but it'll be it'll be good. Let's see. And now let's do it. Let's do the mithril stuff the right way now. Finally, mithril pickaxe to start. Five pieces of mithril. God damn, ten sticks. That's a lot of shit. Mithril shovel. Yes. Mithril 
get through Hatchet. Yes. And Mithril Hammer. Yes, we got the Mithril set. Oh man, well, I don't know why I'm pressing map, but you know, I'm just hype right now. Let's let's equip it character. Now, we got full Mithril and Death Mage shit. Let's go. Oh no, don't do that. Hatchet. shovel and finally the mithril pickaxe let's go let's go i'm hyped i'm super hyped hold up let's put away our stuff before we forget wait there's no bars over here oh did we take all the bars i think we did it's all good it's all good it's all good it's all good let's sort this stuff out oh man this is insane to me this is insane, the stack, sort. Is there any more mythical here? No, no more mythical. All right, there we go, there we go, there we go. Now we can tunnel through all of this shit. I wanna test this shit bad, too. Um, you know what? You know what? Let's test it over here, boy. Did we, did we make a little bitty tree farm over here that we've been needing to give some attention to? Did we? I think we did. Oh, not on this map, though. No, it's not the map. No. I don't want to chop this down. All right, well, you know what I'm going to do? Quick test before we, before, before we go. I just want to test this out. So let's take it to the actual tree farm. And we'll test it on the axes. We spent the most time chopping axes in a straight line, and we got a good idea of... Huh? I was about to say, we didn't replant? What the What the hell? All right. Ten. I think it was way more than ten chops for, for these. It was like 15 or something. I could go back, but it was way more than ten. Doing these in 10 is kind of wild. And, and I'm swinging faster too, so. Yeah, that's kind of wild. And I can already tell I'm getting way more saplings. Now let's try these trees. These are the mid-level trees. Five. The I think these were 10 taps last time. Now let's do the ultimate test. The beginner trees. They gotta be one tap. They gotta be like a, a, a single tap. Do we have any? Yeah, let's check. Three. Three ain't that, man. Three ain't that. Three ain't that. All right. That was a good test. That was a good test. I know the dirt is a one pop. That was a good test. Good test. We'll, 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 we'll get way better results underground. We can dig through the dirt and the stone. The soul stone is what I really want to dig through. But, yeah, there we go. There we go. All right, all right, we're going to end the video here. If you're interested in playing this game, we got some information in the description box below. I appreciate you for tuning in. I'll catch you in the next one. It's your boy DB4, and I'm out. Peace.